guys welcome back to my channel so today i have this very popular very viral bathing suit that i've created a tutorial for it's so cute so fun it is not for the shy let me tell you it is not for the shy so if you guys want to see how i created this bathing suit just keep on watching all right so we're going to begin by using a weight three yarn a 3.75 millimeter hook and we're starting off with a slip knot so we're going to create a slip knot and then we are going to chain up 10. We are starting off the bikini bottoms. So after you chain up 10, you're gonna place a double crochet in the second chain from the hook and then all the way down into your last chain. Okay, so we're coming up on the end of our row of double crochet, and now I'm about to teach you guys the greatest hack that I have ever learned. Okay, so first you're gonna chain up four. This is very optional, but I'm gonna teach you anyways. You're gonna wrap your yarn, find the third chain from the hook, place hook in there, wrap your yarn around, And then go into the next stitch, don't pull anything through yet, pull up a loop. Now you have five, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through the last two. Child, you just double crochet two rows at the same time. Okay. Now we're gonna yarn over, insert into that pocket, not the diagonal one, the straight one. Wrap your yarn around, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, wrap your yarn, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. All right, and we're just gonna keep repeating this pattern. I did three sets of this, so with crocheting two rows at the same time, um, I had six and then the one from before, the one row that I did that was normal. So I had seven in total. Completely optional, um, but it is very fast and very useful. So coming up on the last row, you are going to put, you're going to insert into your chain two as your last space. Yarn over, pull up, wrap the yarn, pull through two. Pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Again, very optional. You can just do seven normal rows, or you can do three sets of this and one row of regular crochet, double crochet. So now we are going to start increasing. Chain up two, and we're gonna place our double crochet in the very first stitch where the chain two is coming out of. So we are gonna be increasing every single row for a total of 16 rows so we're going to be increasing on the front the very first chain and then we're going to be increasing in the very last visible stitch so not in the chain two but in the very last visible stitch is where we're going to place our two double crochets We're going to keep repeating this pattern. All right, so here we are, we're gonna cut 
and tie off. And there we are, 16 rows. So now we're making a slip knot and we're starting on the base. We're gonna chain up nine. And after we chain nine, we are going to join to the very first chain with a slip stitch. Now we're gonna chain up three. And we are gonna place 14 double crochets directly into that circle. Now we're at the end, we're gonna chain up four and prepare for a treble crochet. So to do a treble crochet, you're gonna wrap the yarn twice, skip the first place into the second, wrap the yarn, pull through two, wrap the yarn, pull through two, wrap the yarn, pull through two, and then chain one. And then we're going to wrap the yarn twice again and going directly into the stitch beside it. So we're not skipping. The chain one is not to skip the stitch. It's just part of the pattern. And that is how we're going to treble crochet throughout this pattern and all the way down. So once you get to your last treble crochet, you're going to place it in the chain two space. All right. And now we are going to chain four again. And now we are going to start a picchio, picchio, picado. Hold on, let me go find the right word and come back. So wow, I said that all wrong. It is a pico stitch. And that is what we're going to do. We are going to pico stitch. All right, chain up four, find the single crochet, place your hook in there and slip stitch. And then in the chain space, you're gonna place a single crochet. And then in the top of the treble, we're gonna place another single crochet. But on top of this, we're gonna chain up three. Find the edge, our hook in through just like that, and slip stitch. All right, single crochet, single crochet chain three and place slip stitch just like that work it all the way down when you get to your last few stitches we're going to do something a little bit different Okay, so now we're placing our last picot stitch in the top of our treble. And instead of putting a cro double crochet in the space, we're going to put it directly into our chain. Now we're going to chain up six. Find the edge of our treble. Slip stitch. Slip stitch two times over the base of the treble like you see me doing. One slip stitch, move over the second slip stitch and the third slip stitch is going to go in the directly in the middle of the circle. Turn your work. And now we are going to wrap our yarn and immediately place 10 double crochets in that chain six space that you have just made. All right, now we are going to chain up four. This is for our treble. Wrap your yarn twice yarn twice insert and treble all the way down until 
your second to last stitch. So we are not going to place a treble crochet in the very last double crochet. You want a total of nine trebles, including the chain. Chain four, technically. So a, not, a total of nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. See how we skip the last double crochet. So now we're going to find the bottom of this treble. And we are going to place a single crochet. It's not going to be the same throughout. I'm going to show you when it gets there. But this is where we're placing our first single crochet to join the pieces together so they're not flopping around. Turn your work. Start off with a single crochet, chain three up, because we're doing another peacock stitch edging. So same thing. Immediately after you turn your work, you're placing that single crochet on top of the treble and following the same pattern that we just did all the way down. Coming up on the end of this, we're going to place our last peacock stitch. And then we're going to place our single crochet through the chain. Chain up six. And immediately place 10 double crochets in that chain six space. Same thing, we're going to chain up four, turn our work, wrap our yarn twice, treble down to the second to last stitch. And now we are going to place our single crochet two peacock stitches away. So right there is where we're going to place our single crochet. We're going to immediately turn our work and on top of this treble, we're going to place a single crochet and begin our peacock stitch again. And that is all that there is to it. So I did a total of 11 motifs. And I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like. So here we are on our 11th motif. Now we're gonna chain up a very long chain. I did 250 because this is gonna be your back straps. All right, so here's our first motif. All done. And we went back and made a second one. Now we have two. So now we're going to work on the 
back of the bikini we're starting the bottom the back side of the bikini so we're gonna join our yarn we're gonna chain two and where that chain two is coming out of we're going to immediately start increasing so that we can cover our behind so we place a two double we place a double crochet in the chain space we're going to double crochet all the way down and put two double crochets in the last stitch Now here we are placing our two double crochets. I had to force it in there. All right, we're gonna chain up two. Turn our work immediately place the double crochet in the chain two space and work our way down to our last visible stitch not the chain two space and place two double crochets in that one and we're going to do that back and forth for a total of 24 rows So now that we have worked our 24 rows, we're going to add our edging. So the way I added the edging, I did two single crochets in every double crochet space after I chained one. And then when I got to the front part where I increased for the front portion of the bikini, I did a picot stitch just for decoration. You guys can um, keep the same two single crochet pattern all the way through to the top but I like the way this looked so I single crochet down the straight part of the bikini as well and when I got to the increases when I started adding the peacock stitch this is the pattern that I followed I placed two single crochets in the double crochet space, placed one more single crochet in the next double crochet, and on top of the second double crochet in that set is where I put the peacock stitch. I hope that makes sense. I single crochet three stitches, and then in the fourth stitch, I put the peacock stitch. So now we are going to join the motif to the bikini. I single crocheted down the first two spaces, and then that's where I be and then after that is where I began the join. Um, I can show you better than I could tell you, so here it is. And I made a mistake while I was recording. Um, I should have joined the very first peacock, the very first peacock stitch that was closest to me to the bottom of the bikini um, I'm going to show you in a clip where my thumb is is where I should originally have joined because I didn't like how that piece was hanging out but um, again we're just going to go through the peacock stitch and the bottom stitch together join with a single crochet in the empty space just join them together just like that and then we're going to keep repeating that when we're done with our join, we're going to single crochet all the way down till we get to our next join. 
Um, the easiest way to do that is to count two single crochets over. Then you put your join because when you finish that join, you have to single crochet the two last pieces. not the piece that was hanging out but I should have joined these four instead of the three that I did Now we're going to place two single crochets in our double crochet spaces and then we're going to start our peacock stitch once again for the front and then when we get to the straight part we're going to do straight double crochets all the way until we get to the back. So this is the clip of where my thumb is, is where I should have joined originally, but I didn't. Now we are doing chains for our back. I did 100 on each side, fastened off, rejoined to the opposite side, did 100 there. This is how I like to join it, keeps it sturdy for me. Right, fastened off, found the front, and this is where I put the front ties right in there. The peacock stitch, the very first peacock stitch working your way up from the bottom, right there. On both sides is where I placed it. I did a hundred chains here too. And our last one will go right there. And then you're gonna place it right there. this is just a clip of how I anchored down that piece that was hanging out that I said I didn't really like um, if you if you single crochet it in 
the beginning when you're doing this part you won't have to do this but i had to do this because i did a single crochet so i kind of just anchored it down and made us a knot with it and that is how i secured it did that to the other side too and that was that and after that you're gonna make a really long chain a very long one 300 350 this is for your middle tie so i couldn't actually record me doing the middle tie because it's actually very difficult so this is where i place them in the third peacock stitch of every in a row is where i placed and i made it so long i had to feed it through the back but don't do that use your neck straps to feed through the back of your bathing suit and we are all done this is so cute i love it if you guys like what you see subscribe to my channel and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye